800 years ago, the Great Brothers Monastery was full of life. Every day, monks from the Franciscan order were praying to God and spreading his holy words among people nearby. Brothers didn't know much, but the monastery aroused admiration in everyone. But how to show it to the visitors of the museum? To solve this problem, our group came up with the following problem formulation. In order to answer it, first we went to Great Brothers Monastery Museum in Olbo to gather information. We also contacted the curator to clarify some of the data. Research was conducted not only about the monastery itself, but also about VR technology and its issues, as well as interactivity in museums. Afterwards, several semi-structured interviews were conducted with the curators of Great Brothers Monastery Museum and Hudson Center, the latter having experience with VR exhibitions. We further conducted interviews with visitors of the Great Brothers Monastery. Our next step was to brainstorm the idea and decide what was going to be implemented. Different designs were created and the most fitting one was chosen. It was time to start modeling objects in Maya. We thought about using photogrammetry to generate the models, but this wasn't done due to limited resources and access to the artifacts. Therefore, simple 3D models were created in Maya using reference photos from the museum. We modeled them from scratch, applied UV maps in Maya and textures in Unity. For the cellar itself, we modeled building blocks and connect them in a Unity project. Before placing 3D assets in Unity, prefabs were created. When this was done, we needed to add lighting, coding and the prototype was ready for testing. For the evaluation, we deemed it ideal to consider several aspects. Therefore, multiple questionnaires with different points of focus were given to participants. The three questionnaires were System Usability Scale, slatter usher Steve Present Questionnaire, and Questionnaire Assessing Gain Knowledge. Further, a semi-structured interview was conducted in order to assess general perception of the prototype, as well as other usability aspects such as the severity of VR sickness. While the data from our experiments suggested a slight decrease in the efficiency of knowledge mediation, the VR experience itself was met with excitement and enjoyment. While there is still room for improvement and future research, it can overall be concluded that a similar solution could well complement historical sites such as Great Brother Monastery. <laughs>